Hello everyone. Let's say you've got stablecoins on a bunch of different blockchains such as Solana, Phantom, the Binance Smart Chain, and others. How would you get these to Karura to say contribute to the 3 pool? Well, you would have to figure out which are the correct stablecoins in terms of native versus multi-chain deployment, and in the case of Kusama native USDT, you would have to utilize KYC on a centralized exchange like Bitfinex in order to acquire any. Coupled with the fact you'll need to use multiple applications, like DEXs and bridges, this can become quite a frustrating process. However, with the introduction of our first fully-fledged EVM Plus deployment, this is no longer a dilemma. Welcome to SWIM protocol. SWIM streamlines the entire process, start to finish, for you within a simple application. Using SWIM, I'll be walking you through how to acquire USDT on Karura by bridging over multiple kinds of stablecoins from all sorts of blockchains. Let's go ahead and click on Launch App, and we'll be greeted with the SWIM user interface. Now, before we begin, we have a few prerequisites we need to meet. First and foremost, we need to have our Karura wallet bound to our MetaMask wallet. To do this, you can simply go to the Karura application, and then navigate to the Bridge tool, where you'll have the option to not only bridge tokens, but also bind your MetaMask wallet. Once you follow the prompts, you'll be able to connect your Substrate wallet with your MetaMask wallet, allowing you to continue. And then navigating to the Portfolio section, you'll be able to see under the My Account section, next to the Portfolio value, your abridged Substrate wallet address with a little chain link that will also show the EVM address when hovered over. And just to double check, if I open the MetaMask extension, we can indeed see my Karura wallet has been set up, and we'll also need some KAR for transactions, as well as the gas token for whichever blockchain you'll be swapping stablecoins from, such as FTM from Phantom, AVAX from Avalanche, and so on. Secondly, however, you'll also require a Solana wallet. I'm using the Phantom wallet, as you can see here, with a little bit of Sol for gas fees. You won't need much, but you do require some when using SWIM, as regardless of what your source and destination blockchains are, the entire process is facilitated through Solana. To create a Solana wallet, first install the Phantom wallet by navigating to phantom.app, where you're able to download it for various different browsers. Once installed, you'll be greeted with this menu, allowing you to both create a wallet and import your wallet. Now, let's navigate back to the SWIM protocol application. And in the top right, let's go ahead and click on Connect Wallets. Here, we'll connect our EVM wallet and our Phantom wallet. And as you can see, they're both now connected. Once complete, let's do our first example USDC from Avalanche to USDT on Karura. As you can see, I have about $19 worth of USDC on Avalanche. So let's go ahead and select that to transfer all of it over. And as you can see, we have the estimated transaction fees. Transaction fees on Solana, transaction fees on Avalanche, and of course, transaction fees on Karura. Let's go ahead and click Swap. We'll now be met with a few new steps, which is basically walking us through the entire process it takes SWIM to get USDC from Avalanche to USDT on Karura. Fair warning, you will be approving quite a few network confirmations and transaction requests from both the Solana wallet and the MetaMask wallet. It might be quite alarming to see that many transactions being required for this process, but it's perfectly normal. And so I won't cut out any of the approvals that I need to do, so you can see the entire process start to finish. For our first transaction, let's go ahead and click Approve. This notification came from my Solana wallet. And of course, it showcases my transaction fee in Sol, which is of course very, very minimal. So let's go ahead and click Approve. Now, we'll get a transaction notification request from MetaMask, which is asking us to confirm the approved amount, which was the $19 worth of USDC from Avalanche, 
with our gas and of course AVAX. Let's go ahead and click confirm. Once again, we'll have another transaction request from MetaMask. Let's go ahead and click confirm again. We now have another transaction confirmation request, this time from Solana. So go ahead and click approve. And as you can see, as the individual transactions complete, we'll have a little tick icon next to them, as well as the actual transaction hash itself. If we were to click on one of these, we can see the actual transaction itself on the blockchain scanner of whichever blockchain we're currently connected to. Going back, we have yet another transaction request from Solana, so go ahead and click Approve. And again, we can click Approve. Go ahead and click Approve yet again on the Phantom Wallet. MetaMask will now prompt us to swap our network from Avalanche to Karora, so go ahead and click on Switch Network. And we'll now be prompted to accept another transaction, however this time on the Karora blockchain, so go ahead and click Confirm. And Complete. We'll get this completed message, and just to confirm, we can see up in the Swim UI that we now have that $19 of USDC on Avalanche to $19 of USDT on Karura. Let's navigate to the Karura application. And as you can see, we've received this message that says that we have received USDT. And scrolling down, we indeed have. You have successfully swapped USDC from the Avalanche blockchain to USDT on the Karura blockchain. Why don't we try another example? How about BUSD from the Binance Smart Chain and convert it to USDT on Karura? As you can see, I have about $20 worth of BUSD, so let's go ahead and click on that. And once we're happy, click Swap. We'll be going through the exact same process as before, so there'll be quite a few transactions we'll need to approve. So let's get started. Let's switch networks. And complete. We now have $20 of USDT on Karura, but just to confirm, let's navigate to our Karura portfolio. And yep, we can indeed confirm that the $20 from the Binance Smart Chain has been successfully bridged through SWIM protocol. And that about wraps up this walkthrough of how to bridge stablecoins from other blockchains through to Karura using SWIM protocol.